It was strange to see the left criticizing its own. That is a rarity in politics. The Democrats have a history of at least public unity. But dissent, division, is now appearing in public. Medicare for all. Bernie wants it, so do many of the 22 presidential candidates. But the editorial board of the Washington Post, no less, says, hold on a minute. It's not the promised land. The Post says there's no Medicare for all without trade-offs, specifically much higher taxes on the middle class, as well as the rich. Bernie likes to use Denmark as an example of how to do health care right. But Denmark charges a 56% tax rate on incomes of $80,000 a year or more. 56% at $80,000. And Denmark imposes 25% mm -hmm. sales tax on everything. Does middle America want to pay that kind of price for Medicare for all? I think not. Then there's the universal basic income scheme, favored by the more extreme presidential candidates. This is the plan to give all adults a monthly income with no strings attached. You don't have to work, spend it on anything. Great, free money. Oh, oh, not so fast. Britain's Guardian newspaper, a very left-wing operation, quotes a study of 16 universal basic income schemes that have been tried around the world. The study was conducted by a global trade union federation. There is no evidence that any of the schemes were sustainable. In other words, they could not be paid for. And none significantly reduced poverty. It's the same with the Green New Deal. Just not affordable. You can't pay for it. Free college. You can't pay for it. Oh, what a mess. 20 months to the election, the economy is booming, and the Democrats are pushing wild schemes that would cost a fortune and disrupt the prosperity that we now enjoy. That's a really weak electoral platform.